Natalie Marie Coyle, known professionally as Natalie Eva Marie, is an American actress, fashion designer, model, and professional wrestler. She's currently signed to WWE, where she performs in the Raw brand. In 2013, she signed a contract with WWE and was assigned to the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida to begin her training. In July of that year, she made her main roster debut under the ring name Eva Marie and became the manager of the Bella Twins. She also joined the cast of reality TV series Total Divas. In mid-2015, she began wrestling as part of the NXT Women's Division. In April 2016, she returned to the main roster, officially becoming part of the SmackDown brand in July 2016. She originally left WWE in August 2017, only to make her return in late 2020. Eva Marie was born in Walnut Creek, California, the youngest child of Barry and Josie Nelson. Her mother is Mexican while her father is Italian. She has three older brothers, Nathan, Neil and Nick, and was raised in Concord, California. She wanted to become a professional soccer player, although her plans were put on hold when she suffered an ankle injury in the senior year of high school in 2002. Eva Marie, who played as a striker, recovered and continued playing at Diablo Valley College in Pleasant Hill, California, where she received an associate degree in art. She received Junior College All-American Honours and transferred to Arizona State University, although a lack in self-confidence led her to stop playing. She transferred to California State University, Fullerton, where the soccer coach persuaded her to play again. However, her eligibility to play had expired due to their five-year clock rule. Eva Marie later said, I would have run into that problem if I just believed in myself from the start. Now I'm older, I know it's much better to have tried and maybe fail than never have tried at all. She graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Business Management and a minor in Human Resource and moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in modelling, acting and promotional work. Eva Maria said that she came across the cast calling for WWE by chance and after impressing talent scouts won a four-week tryout. She then signed a developmental contract and was assigned to the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida to train. In May 2013, she joined WWE and E's new reality show entitled Total Divas that would show behind-the-scenes footage of select WWE divas and look at their personal lives. She also promoted to the main roster, having just two weeks of formal training, which Eva Marie called a whirlwind experience which changed her life immediately. She dyed her naturally brown hair bright red and adopted her ring name. Eva Marie made her main roster debut on the 1st of July in an episode of Raw, in a backstage segment along with her fellow Total Divas co-stars. Eva Marie accompanied Natalia to the ring on the 4th of July episode of Superstars, where she defeated Naomi. Eva Marie, along with a cast of Total Divas, appeared on Ms. TV on July 22nd episode of Raw, where she slapped Jerry Lawler, claiming to make a name for herself and establishing herself as a heel in the process. Upon the debut of the Total Divas program in July 2013, the Bella Twins began feuding with their co-stars on the show. Eva Marie made a return to WE after nearly three months' absence on the 14th of February 2014 in an episode of SmackDown, defeating Alicia Fox in her first singles match on WWE television. The match, however, was cut from the broadcast. After a return in 2014, she began regularly participating in tag team matches, including getting a win over A.G. Lee and Tamina Snuka. On November 9th, after months of inactivity, Eva Marie wrote on her Instagram account that she was recovering from an injury. Later, it was revealed the injury was a rupture from a breast implant. She returned on March the 9th of 2015 in an episode of Raw, accompanying Summer Rae to a match against AJ Lee. She went on another hiatus shortly after in order to train with former WWE Tag Team Champion Brian Kendrick. On June the 3rd, of 2015, she appeared in an episode of NXT, stating that she was looking forward to completing in the NXT women's division, while the audience was heavily booing her. 
She continued with NXT until April of 2016, when after a brief hiatus, she made one last episode on the 27th of April, losing to women's champion Asuka in a non-title match. She appeared again in Raw on March 28th and April 3rd of 2016. Following a hiatus from live television, and after being drafted to SmackDown as part of the 2016 WWE Draft on July 19th, Eva Marie made her first appearance for the brand on July 26th, where she debuted a new long introductory entrance while confronting the brand female talents, re-establishing herself as a heel. Throughout August, she began faking multiple unfortunate events in order to avoid in-ring competition. On August 18th, she was suspended for 30 days for violating the company's wellness policy. She said she tested positive for Adderall and a prescription for the medication, but submitted the paperwork after the deadline. She was replaced by returning Nikki Bella at the Summer Slam on August 21st, as part of the six women tag team match. On February 10th, 2017, she began pursuing interests outside of wrestling and began removing WWE references from her social media accounts. In July, it was announced she would not be returning to the seventh season of Total Divas. On August 4th, 2017, Eva Marie announced that she and WWE had parted ways. In October 2020, PW Insider reported that Marie had signed a new contract with WWE. On May 3rd of 2021, an episode of Raw, a vignette aired advertising her return, which she promoted as the Evolution. Outside of wrestling, Eva Marie appeared in a fitness blowout infomercial. In October, she was part of the Marino Fitness Campaign and appeared in a Sketches commercial. She appeared on the Sports Illustrated website as the lovely lady of the day in December 2012 and on several magazine covers including Ruckus, Import Tuna magazine and Glam Fit magazine. Eva Marie won the 2012 Powertech model and several fashion competitions. She's modelled for Red Chapter Clothing. Eva Marie has appeared in the Spanish dating show 12 Corazones. She appeared in the September edition of Maxim magazine, and in 2014, she ranked number 83 in Maxim's Hot 100. In 2015, Eva Marie partnered with Bellamy Air to launch her own line of hair extensions, called Testarossa. In 2016, she launched her own fashion line, NEM Fashion. In alignment with its female empowerment and anti-bullying missions, the brand gives back to women in need through her NEM foundation. She then launched Never End Denim, a luxury and size-inclusive denim brand in 2017. Eva Marie has appeared in two WWE video games and made her in-game debut in WWE 2K16 and last appearance in WWE 2K17. She was also featured in several other related merchandise for WWE, receiving her own Mattel doll, a Funko Pop collectible, and three action figures. In 2017, she took part in a four-person tournament at the Street Fighter vs. Inventional alongside Shaquille O'Neal, Lupe Fiasco and Reggie Bush. She supported the American Cancer Society in the exhibition. She returned in the following edition on behalf of A21. In 2018, she participated in the 50K Charity Challenge Celebrity Basketball Game, presented by Monster Energy Outbreak at UCLA. In September 2018, Eva Marie launched a podcast with her husband called The Natalie Eva Marie Show, with a rotating guest list on Podcast One. She explained the idea came from previously creating a YouTube channel, where she occasionally uploads lifestyle vlogs on various subjects, and needing a platform to discuss certain topics at more length. They launched a workout program, NEM Fit, on her website the following year. In 2019, Eva Marie appeared in a cast member in the second season of the US version of Celebrity Big Brother. In April 2019, she was announced as the first ambassador for Monster Energy's Rain brand and was featured in campaigns and hosted sponsorship events throughout the year. Later that year, she was also signed as ambassador for Australian fitness and fashion brand Rideaway and launched her own Natalie Eva Marie X Ride Aware collection in 2020.